Good morning, hi. In today's material, we will discuss Huawei, the latest models of switches recently introduced. These are models that are compatible with the Equit application, and thanks to it, we can manage them very easily. Using Wi-Fi, we can add them to the application, alternatively by scanning QR codes. QR codes on housing are adhesive, though small camera always zooms in on them due to their tiny size. Using the app, you can effortlessly scan it. We possess three varieties of such switches. These are unmanaged switches, the S110 series. Here we have a distinction between 24 ports and 48 ports. They also have PoE as well as SFP or SFP plus ports, depending on the specific model. We also have a small switch here where we can enable port isolation. Additionally, we have the S220 series, already managed switches, slightly trimmed in functionality, and the S310 assists us. The S310 is a fully managed switch, but it is an L2 plus switch, which means it lacks L3 functionality at the moment. Regarding these switches, each has SFP or SFP plus ports, depending on the requirements at hand. We need to populate them with SFP modules or electrical ones, and then we can connect them to the router and access points using fiber optic cables or twisted pair cables. When it comes to access points, they are powered by Power over Ethernet, PoE, which is why the entire series of switches has PoE power on all ports, whether it's 24 or 48. And here the PoE budget is of huge importance. Huawei has mixed it in such a way that it's at least 380W, which means that even if we connect 10 access points, it should handle it easily. Switches can be managed using the eKIP application, as mentioned earlier, but it's not necessary. They can also be configured in the ordinary way, classically, using a console or through a browser via HTTP, HTTPS. When it comes to unmanaged switches, they can be used both at home and in smaller or larger offices, as well as in hotels. They are designed for this purpose due to their performance, especially for home use. As these are switches that are mounted in 19-inch racks, they won't fit in smaller ones, whereas the S110 is smaller. Compared to a traditional deep switch, it is very shallow, so if we don't have space in a rack or simply at home where we want to mount it, for example, under the desk, this switch will confidently not cause major issues. They are also quite quiet, not requiring placement in cabinets that would slightly muffle the sound and automatically reduce airflow, leading to inefficient cooling. Therefore, for home or hotel use, where they are often placed in small, tight spaces and not necessarily in rack cabinets, they will handle themselves just fine. When it comes to performance, these are devices that have everything one could possibly need built into them. They are extremely powerful, so they can also be utilized as enterprise-level tools. Contrary to appearances, the Huawei Enterprise series had a lot of features, and all these features have also been packed into the eKit series for all those unmanaged and managed switches, so you can confidently purchase this eKit S110 series for smaller applications instead of enterprises, which includes an unmanaged S220 switch with more features and a fully managed S310, where you can configure everything. When it comes to this eKit series, it is powered by a single built-in power supply, so we are not able to purchase devices with redundant power supplies. However, these are devices that we can stack. Thanks for your attention, that's it.